Hey you guys, what's up? It's Kimberly Wright here, realtor here in the state of Arizona. And so you're thinking about moving to Arizona, but you're coming from California. Whew, okay. This is a hot topic here, all right? It's a hot topic for you guys moving here for, from California, and it's a hot topic for all of us Arizona natives, right? One thing you guys are gonna hear a lot of is don't California my Arizona. And no other realtor is probably gonna be honest with you about this, but Arizona natives have a have a really like, I don't know why, they have a really like bad taste. <laughs> Not, not every native, okay? Not every Arizona native has a bad taste, but a lot of them don't like people moving here, <laughs> obviously, with, any, with anywhere else, right? Um, but we don't like the laws in California. Let's just, I'm just gonna point blank. We don't like California laws. There's a reason why we don't live in California. There's a reason why you guys are moving here to Arizona, right? Or Houston, or Austin, or Las Vegas, or Tampa, Miami. What else, what's another one people are moving to? Anyways, <laughs> that, that is, it is what it is, right? But before we get into this video, that was my little rampage there. Go ahead and click that subscribe button below. Click that little notification bell so we can get a notification every single time I upload a new video. I'm gonna be talking about the differences and similarities between Arizona and California. All right, so one of the main similarities is obviously the sunshine, okay? It's people here in Arizona, we love the sunshine. I'm actually getting a little cold right now, so I'm gonna put it. It's like 78 degrees outside. I'm putting my sweater on. But you guys, here in Arizona, we have the sunshine, we have the, the, the obviously the weather, we have the heat, right? One thing that a lot of people don't realize is that Arizona has rain as well. And if you're coming from LA County, I know you don't know how to drive in the rain, <laughs> okay? So you don't have to tell me that when you move here. Why well, I, I used to live in North Hollywood. I know, I get it. North Hollywood is kind of the same way as in LA County, right? Um, but that's one thing, right? So you're gonna get a lot of sunshine. You're gonna get a lot of warmth here in the summer. One thing we don't have is the beach. So if it's 98 degrees outside, we can't just drive 45 minutes to an hour and a half <laughs> down to Santa Monica or Malibu or Venice, Huntington, whatever it may be, to be able to catch some waves, right? Get, get some nice like ocean breeze. We don't have that. We have Lake Pleasant. We have Saguaro Lake. We have the Salt River. We have Fossil Creek. We have Sedona. We have Slide Rock. We have places like that. Very, very great desert oasises here in the valley. So or in the state of Arizona, just as a whole, right? So that's one thing to keep in mind um, when you guys are moving here. So as far as similarities, that's one of them, right? The sunshine is is bound to be here in Arizona, except during the monsoon season between like July, August, maybe early September, you're gonna get some tropical weather, right? A lot of people say it's tropical weather. I have a lot of clients that moved here and they've never seen lightning, like light up the sky like that at night before. And I was like, this is normal. <laughs> normal but it's just it is what it is right so that's one thing that you don't have in california you don't have these crazy monsoon storms so we're going to go into another similarity we have palm trees so many people are moving here from seattle from ohio from new york and they come here and they're like you guys have palm trees what it's like a desert oasis it's like you're out here on vacation you know 365 days of the year it's great yes we have palm trees and a lot of the palm trees actually line our neighborhoods and they line our streets out here you're gonna see palm trees popping up and like on the side of the road near the near a farm field or something like I promise you and it's crazy they're California palms there's uh, queen palms there's all kinds of palm trees out here in the state of Arizona that you guys can enjoy it's like you're on vacation it's great so very, very similar to the state of California. Another similarity is the active lifestyle, okay? Not all of Arizona has a very, very active lifestyle, okay? There are parts of Arizona where people are just more chill, they're laid back, they're just like, go with the flow, you know? Most Arizona natives are very, very go, go with the flow mentality. We're just like, yeah, man, we'll, we'll get to when we get to it. But we also have a very get shit done mindset, okay? So we're very, very hustle very, very hustle based, but we're also very chilled and laid back, you know? Are, so it's, it's like a good mixture, right? You have that LA mentality of like, let's go, let's go, let's go, gotta get shit done, let's get some work done. And then you also have that like very chill, chill vibe, which is wonderful. We're not always in the hustle and bustle of things. We have a, we have a pretty good balance. Now, 
that's just the work mindset, okay? The work lifestyle here. As far as the active lifestyle, like I said, same thing. If you're in the Scottsdale, if you're in near, if you're in the Scottsdale, Paradise Valley, Tempe, North Phoenix, you know, Peoria, I guess it's kind of everywhere, Kimberly. But if you're in a certain area on the outskirts, right, you have hiking trails. If you're near Camelback Mountain, which is in the, in the center of the valley, if you have Pai Sua right there, we're a very, very active lifestyle. We have a ton of sports for the kids. We have a ton of community club sports, a ton of school sports. Sports. For adults as well, we have yoga, we have acro yoga, we have aerobics, we have uh, tons, hundreds of gyms. Crunch Fitness is actually out here as well, which is in LA as well. So that's the gym I used to go to when I lived in Los Angeles. So that is us out here. You know, we have a Sporto, we have Lifetime, we have um, EOS, we have so many things available for you guys. Um, on top of, you know, adult clubs and things like that. Also, if you guys are looking to move here, if you're looking to purchase a home here, keep in mind I'm an Arizona state licensed realtor, okay? I have a lot of people looking looking for um, master planned communities out here. And that being said, that's a very active lifestyle community. So that's a community pool, community water park, golf courses, rec centers, community gyms that you guys can go to if you live in that community. So it's like a country club in a way. So that's something that is huge out here, our master plan communities. If you guys are looking to move here, you want a very active lifestyle, you want all of that in your, in your community. By the way, it's all included in your HOA and the HOA is usually under that $200 mark around that like 130 mark. I think ours is 130-ish. Uh, Anyways, not very expensive in any way, shape, or form. So lifestyle, yes, huge, huge, huge active lifestyle here. Mentality is pretty much the same as Los Angeles. So as far as lifestyle goes, we are very dog friendly. This is one thing that people are kind of crazy about when they come here. Almost every person you meet is going to have a dog or a cat or something. They're going to have some type of loving family, you know, furry friend at home. I personally have a little Papillon and everyone I know owns a pet, you know, owns a furry friend. So it's, it's pretty crazy. You know, it's, it's very common out here, especially if you guys are going to start looking at homes out here in Arizona. Some of the homes that we view will have dogs there. They will have cats and you know, this, they were, people take care of their pets out here. People really, really do. They take care of their animals. They're like family. You don't want to leave your dogs out in the summer. You guys, if you're going to own an animal, if you're going to adopt a pet, they cannot be outside animals in the state of Arizona. Okay, they will die from heat exhaustion. It's not good for them. It's not healthy. It's not safe. Please bring them inside. Anyways, that's, that's what it is. We're very dog friendly. All right, another thing. This is something I'm not very familiar with because I personally don't don't do it but weed is legal out here in Arizona now it's um, medically legal and recreationally legal so it's awesome um, but do yourselves a favor just like in Los Angeles and any place else Colorado right treat weed the same as you treat alcohol police officers are gonna view it the same way right don't come out here if you're coming from a totally different state and you're like oh weed is legal I'm gonna go you know drive and do this don't do that you're gonna get pulled over and you're gonna get a ticket I don't know what the ticket is I like I said I don't know much about this stuff but yes it is it is legal out here in the state of Arizona now so that's good as far as the weed goes no you're not going to smell it on the roads you know you're not gonna be driving you're gonna whiff of it you're not gonna be you know going into viewing properties when you're looking to purchase a home out here and you're not gonna smell it in every home it's it's just like smoking a cigarette you know like sometimes you'll come across it sometimes you won't but treat weed like alcohol like I said in public you want to make sure you're not drinking and driving just like you're not smoking and driving things like that okay so as far as the differences go the differences in the state of Arizona okay compared to California is the traffic <laughs> so many people like, are coming from Washington right and they're like oh your guys' traffic is really bad out here and then people come from Los Angeles and they're like Oh, your guys' traffic is great. This is wonderful because our traffic really isn't that bad. It's really not that bad at all. It's not bumper to bumper. It's not going to take you an hour to drive what you could have drove five for five minutes. I said that wrong. It's not going to take you an hour to drive five miles like it will in Los Angeles County. Okay, this is not going to take you that long at all. And we don't have um, tolls. I, I guess there's things like like tolls where you have to like go from one freeway to another and you have to pay to get on that freeway. I think. That's that's weird. That's so weird to me. We don't have that here in Arizona. You don't have to pay to get onto another freeway. Like what? That's a thing? <laughs> I never experienced that in the state of California ever, but I also didn't live there very long for good reason. Um, but yeah, it's, it's crazy. So no, you can drive anywhere in the state of Arizona. You can get from one place to another in a very, very quick amount of time. You can literally go 40 miles and it could take you 45 minutes. Okay. I mean, come on. What? <laughs> 45 minutes. It's a steal. Let's go. So this is another the difference I'm going to go into, okay? 
and it's kind of similar to New York, okay? So LA, you guys like, people in LA, we like to wear our clothes a certain certain style, a certain way. We like to show our wealth out there in Los Angeles. I didn't like that very much. That's why I love Arizona, okay? We're very chilled, very laid back, like I said. But in Los Angeles and California, places like California, we, you know, you guys like to, I don't wanna say you guys, you know, you, you wear your wealth, right? Here in Arizona, you don't really wear your wealth. People don't really look at you and say, oh, you got some money, you know? No, <laughs> you, you, don't, you don't do that. Here in Arizona, you look at someone and it's just like they're just a regular average Joe, you know? They're just a very regular average person. In California, you'll kind of notice like, oh wow, they, they, they look nice, they got some money. Here in Arizona, we're very chill, very laid back. You're not gonna know if someone's a millionaire or someone's not a millionaire. You can see someone walking along the street, going to the bus stop, walking past the bus stop, whatever it may be, you know? It, they, you know you don't know you don't know and just like with anywhere right don't judge a book by its cover okay don't judge a book by its cover anyways that's part of Arizona people think they're gonna come here especially to the Scottsdale area you are gonna see a lot of people out there dressed up just the nine Paradise Valley as well some places in Tempe Tempe is more of like a hippieville I like to say, like to say um, but you're not going to see you know people flashing their stuff around because there's no need to it's hot it's hot out here <laughs> there's no reason to dress up in all these fancy clothes when you're just gonna sweat through it okay <laughs> you don't need to do that so that's part of Arizona that's one reason why people People really like Arizona because it's very chill, very laid back, very down to earth. Okay, another thing that I have to say is a huge difference between California and Arizona is is the food. It's just not very diverse. Arizona, I, you go to a Mexican restaurant, heck yeah, the food is gonna be on point almost every single time. There's some great steakhouses out here, but most of the restaurants are kind of the same. You know, the food all kind of starts tasting the same. One thing that I wish we had more of here in the state of Arizona were vegan options, were other, you know, more culturally uh, diverse options. We don't have a lot of that here in Arizona. Um, you know, some people come here and they say, oh yeah, they you do, but in reality, we kind of don't you know we don't have a lot of vegan options which is huge a lot of gluten-free options which is huge as well especially if you're moving from California and you'd like to have those options around I know LA County has a ton of them Orange County has a ton of vegan options as well um, you're not really gonna find a lot of that here in Arizona especially here in the West Valley in the West Valley we're still growing so there's still a lot of room for um, you know um, small mom-pop businesses to come in and hence hence open up vegan restaurants so people can go to them. <laughs> but other than that, you know, we don't have a lot. We don't have a lot. So that's one thing that I would say is a huge difference between, you know, Arizona and California. Another thing is a huge difference. You don't work to live here, okay? You do not work to live here in the state of Arizona. You live to, you, know, you pretty much, you're here is like vacation, right? Like I said, first of all, vacation weather. Second of all, you're not paying out of the pocket, like out of crazy amounts to be able to live here. You don't have to work to live. California is 36.8% more expensive to live than the state of Arizona. Cal in the state of California, your groceries are 30.7% more expensive and your transportation is about six a little over 16% more expensive as well. And then your clothing is 14% more expensive. Like what? In, in Arizona, you can literally, like it's, it's so easy out here. Granted, inflation and everything, yes, things are going up, but they're going up all over the US right now, okay? So don't just tone in on it like, oh, Arizona's getting so pricey. But it's just like that everywhere. Everywhere is getting like that. So it's okay, it's okay. Here in Arizona, it's way much more affordable than living in the state of California still. Like, come on, like you're gonna get a larger home, you're gonna get more garage space, you're gonna get parking space, you're gonna get close to amenities, great school districts, you're gonna have so much fun, so many fun activities and festivals to do with the family and with friends. Like there's so many, so much more opportunity for growth and just for a very you know nice, loving, active lifestyle for you and the kids out here in the state of Arizona. So the quality of life is just that much better. Now, so one of the big questions that a lot of people ask me is, Kim, well, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to transfer to be able to work in Arizona because my job is still in California and you know I can't transfer, they don't have a location there. Ask your jobs if you can work from home. So many people are able to work from home these days and I know a lot of tech companies are allowing employees to work from home as well. Ask them, ask them if that's a possibility because there's also a lot of tech companies moving here to the state of Arizona and guess what? The moment they move here, they're gonna need someone to work here, right? So keep that in mind. Ask your companies, ask your employers if you're able to transfer or uh, work from home, that way you can live in the state of Arizona. And it's very popular, especially after the pandemic. Most people are working from home these days. Honeywell, Swiss Transportation, General Mills, Medical Billing, Nestle, Facebook, 
all of these places are coming to the state of Arizona. So you have a lot of options for, for jobs, for one, if you don't want to stay where you're at. But there's also so much growth happening here in the economy and job-wise that you're going to be able to find a job just like that. Now, as far as the taxes here in the state of Arizona, okay, the sales taxes here in Arizona are 6.6%, whereas California is 7.25%. So California is about 1.5% more expensive. Arizona, your income tax is about 4.5%, whereas California is about 9.3%. And then your property taxes, Lord, don't even get me started. The property taxes out here in Arizona are some of the lowest in the nation. You're looking at about 0.61% here in the state of Arizona. And then obviously in California, it's way up there, right? For a $550,000 home here in the state of Arizona, you're looking at maybe about $2,500 in property taxes. In California, that would be, I don't know, like $10,000, $12,000 annually. Like, it's crazy. Come on. <laughs> It's crazy. You get so much more. You get so much more for your buck out here. It's just so much more affordable. Now your car insurance may be a little bit higher though. So this is the, uh, a little bit of a downer, okay? Your car insurance may be a little bit higher because you do have a lot more um, freeway access. You have, to, you have to have a car out here. You can't just you know rely on public transportation because everything is just so spread out. You do have to have a vehicle out here in the state of Arizona. So your car insurance is probably going to be a little bit higher. Not too crazy, but just a little bit. And then your utilities may be slightly higher as well because every home here in the state of Arizona is required to have air conditioning unit. Every home here in the state of Arizona is required to have an AC unit. So in the summer, your bills may be a little bit higher up there, but it's not going to be too crazy that you're going to notice it because you're going to be saving in on everything else so that's good now for about a 2,000 square foot home uh, single family single story you're looking for about one AC unit for a 2,000 square foot home that's you know, about two stories um, you're probably gonna be looking at 2,000 square foot and up you're gonna be looking at maybe two AC units because heat rises right so if you're in the state of Arizona and you're looking to purchase a two-story home it may be a little bit more uh, cost costly than uh, getting a single family one story home. Now another thing about Arizona is our water, okay? You don't want to drink the tap water. I did growing up. I mean, I, I threw water balloons with it. Like I filled up water balloons, like play pools. Like I, I drank it, like we played in the hose as a kid. Um, but that's one thing you don't want to drink. It's really hard. Um, it's one thing I learned as growing you know, as we got older is like that this water's not really very, very good for you. So water softeners are a huge thing. Um, whereas, you know, in California, you do get a little bit better water, especially if you're up in the more in the mountains and things like that. So that's something to think about as well. So definitely get something to soften the water a little bit out here. But you guys, that's the main differences between California and, um, Arizona. I will have another video of this on, you know, about all of this soon. I will be interviewing other people, clients moving here from the state of California, from all over California, the Bay Area, Sacramento, LA County, San Diego, Ventura, Santa Barbara, like all these places. Okay. But if you have any questions, like I said, you guys can give me a call, send me a text, send me an email. I am here and available to help serve and support at the highest possible level. And if you're looking to move here, if you're not sure what area is the best for you, give me a call, send me a text. I am the one answering the emails. I'm the one answering the phone calls. The text messages fuel speaking to me directly and I am looking forward to speaking with you guys. I'll talk to you guys soon.